They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Don't hurt me! 
with someone new. Just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Yeah. Let's fuck weak. You're a weak chopper. This little fish ain't worth telling it with no big daddy. Yellow always had been. You'll be no better off with metal daddy, little fish. See you floating. Listen, 
I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Plasmids changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Damn 
some security around here. We need more. Another's attack at once. My doctor Simon was very attentive. He told me that once the scar tissue was gone, he was gonna fix me right up, make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. He's sweet, all right. He's so interested in my case. If you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Stoyman's case. He's the one who runs this place. But I don't expect to have the end of milk and human kind. Stoyman ain't that kind, frankly. I'm not even sure he's still human. But now you're wrapping them up in cages. Here they come! that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines. I should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. I am Rowling is beautiful. a tricky little nothing. Yes. Look at me. What could I do to make my features finer? With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. But is there not something better? What if now it is not my skill that fails me, but my imagination? Steinman, I know medical pavilion is your matter, but you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture licks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Today, I had lunch with the goddess. Steinman, she said. I'm here to free you from the tyranny of the commonplace. I'm here to show you a new kind Beauty. I asked her, what do you mean, goddess? Symmetry, dear Steinman. It's time we did something about symmetry. Aphrodite is walking the halls, shimmering like a scalpel. Steinman, she calls. Steinman, I have what you're looking for. Just open your eyes, and when I see her, she cuts me into a thousand beautiful pieces. What can I do with this one, Aphrodite? She won't stay still! I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong! That was too fat! This was too tall! This was too symmetrical! And now... What's this, Goddess? An intruder? He's ugly! 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 You all right? It was time somebody took care of that sick bastard. Make sure you get the key off, Stoyman. And head back to emergency access. I'm working my way to the backside of Port Neptune myself. We'll get 
get there soon enough. Looks terrific, Dr. Steinman. Doctor? You know, looking at it now, I didn't realize how much you face. <laughs> Scalpel? Excuse me? Scalpel. Uh, Doctor, she's not booked for a facelift. Let's just come in here. Doctor, stop cutting. Doctor, stop cutting. Get me the chief of surgery. Get me the chief of surgery now. Now you 
you've had the pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one who built this place, and he's the one who ran it into the ground. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Maybe he went mad. Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. What crawls in my garden? I've shown kindness to my you little ones, me. but are you really a friend to us? Regardless, a little one brings you a gift to demonstrate our appreciation. We're putting all the bathyspheres in lockdown until further notice. Ryan had us install some kind of genetic device into the thing, so only Ryan and his inner circle will be able to use them without dispensation. <laughs> but the boys tell me the keys are pretty unreliable. Sisters, cousins. Anybody in the ballpark genetically will be able to come and go as they see fit. Who can blame a lady who craves variety? And one day, the gentleman stopped calling. Atlas Radio on ahead. Says you were you're looking for an invite to the fisheries. Nuts, I say. But if in your head's up to the Warp Master's office and find old Peach a research camera, maybe I could manage an invite. What, what was that? Are you? My friend, you have fight. <laughs> something to keep you alive. Now, go get that camera, and then snapshots of those that crawls on the ceiling. Then, I'll let you into the fisheries. Just remember, sunny friend, I smell an ounce of Fontaine on you, and I'll have you in a box. Atlas gives you the vouch, but I ain't turning my eye just on his say-so. <laughs> Something must be done about Fontaine. While I was buying buildings and fish futures, he was cornering the market on genotypes and nucleotide sequences. Rapture is transforming before my eyes. The great chain is pulling away from me. Perhaps it's time to give it a talk. Now the eggs are in the scramble. We picked up Timmy Yates right after midnight. Either Ryan will be taking down Fontaine, or Fontaine will be taking down Ryan. We'll be uh, interviewing for Timmy, Fontaine Fisheries, and your entertainment. The code's 5380. Darling Masha, we don't know what has happened to you. Ryan's men have taken you away and said you are needed to save Rapsha. Child to save a city, but I, I see this little girl crawling up in bed, and I only wonder if you might one day crawl out of this vent and find this note. The research camera looks just like one you'd see topside. According to this magazine article I scrounged up, 
It can also analyze genetic information, parse biological structures, and lots of other $5 words. Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to now. Look, I don't make the laws here. I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture to string men up for running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my badge. This loves me, this I know. For, for the five Good. Ones you got that, the camera. Now get me some small snaps on those spider spicers. And don't come back down here till you got my research. This little sea slug has come along and glued together all the crazy ideas I've had since the war. It doesn't just heal damaged cells, it resurrects them. I can bend the double. You have the research camera? Good. Guess it's time to get to work for old Peachy. Take the man's picture and let's get the hell out of this place. What am I? Diane, my dear, I'm sorry, but I'll be late again tonight. Rosenberg is demanding to speak about this Fontaine business. I'm trying to build a proper financial market, and this idiot keeps going on about Adam this, genetic modification, that. I'll go spend an hour pretending to pay attention to the poor fellow and be home as soon as I can. Rapture's changing, but Ryan can't see the wolves in the woods. This Fontaine fellow. He's a crook and a proper tea leaf, but he's got the Adam, and that makes him the governor. Sinking the profits back into bigger and better plasmids, building them Fontaine poorhouses. More like Fontaine recruiting centers. When we know it, folks gonna have a, an army of splicers. We're gonna have ourselves a whole heap of mysteries. The thought of me wife and child hiding in that filthy submarine makes me blood boil. Help me get them to safety, and I'll be in your debt for life. Now I got your best deal. Head on back to Fontaine Fisheries when you're ready, would you kindly? Me wife, Moira. She's a right pain in the neck. But she's a beauty. And she means the world to me. I can't help feel God's punishing me for bringing her and Patrick to this place. I thought this would be a better life for us. Can you imagine a bigger fool than that? I saw one of these smugglers having a game of catching on the docks today. And this surprised me because his hands were crippled during the war. He was unloading the barge the other day when he was beaten from the sea slug. He woke up the next morning and he found he could move his fingers for the first time in years. I asked him if he still had that sea slug. As luck would have it. <laughs> he did. They shall go down easy once you research them up right. Come on in and show us those snappy snappies. didn't get himself at. You got something from me and my crew? Or are you just looking to get criticized? You set here a spell. I needs to set on some coffee. Maybe puts on silverware and the like. <laughs> Before you head into the fisheries, a word to the wise. Old Peachy seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. You keep your eyes open. Nobody walks into my swampy carry in the heat. Put your weapons in the new wall, and I'll let you in. If that 
At this price, you're gonna have to pay it. But he can't very well take your plasma away now, can he? <laughs> When the boss waggled out of hell, he done told the devil he'd be right back. And the devil says, sure thing, Mr. Fontaine, I'll hold you a spot. Ryan promised Fontaine was dust, and now here you are doing his dirty. I guess that makes Ryan a bum, and you a... He was ours! Ours! Oh! He keeps going! in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it, or eliminate it. Get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! 